gentlemen, uh, and now I yield to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Rothfuss. I thank my colleague, the gentlelady from Virginia, for organizing this special order on behalf of this remarkable, remarkable American. On February 13th of this year, our country lost a giant. His neg legacy will never fade. Justice Scalia influenced countless jurists, attorneys, law students, and everyday Americans. My thoughts and prayers have been with the Scalia family, Maureen, his family, Father Paul, since the passing of this outstanding American statesman. Regardless of whether one agreed with his opinions on the Supreme Court, this man's consistent integrity and admirable, admirable character cannot be denied. In both word and action, he was a man of strongest character and deepest virtue. This was evident in the commencement address he gave to the graduating class of the College of William and Mary in 1996 when he said, bear in mind that brains and learning, like muscle and physical skill, are articles of commerce. They are bought and sold. You can hire them by the year or by the hour. The only thing in the world that is not for sale is character. The way he lived out the virtues of integrity and humility did not go unnoticed. Several weeks ago, we here in Washington had the opportunity to go to the National Prayer Breakfast, which attracted members of Congress, the President, Senators, Ambassadors, people from all over the world, and we were treated with an appearance by famed tenor Andrea Bocelli. And I think that Justice Scalia would have enjoyed uh, his appearance and his appreciation for opera. In addition to his wonderful renditions of Panis Angelicus, would, again, would have been another treat for Justice Scalia, and Amazing Grace, Mr. Bocelli lamented the dark shadow that war, war casts on the world and expressed concern for its victims, identifying war as a major problem in our world today. But then it was interesting. Mr. Bocelli stated, there is that small, hateful word, hubris already known in antiquity, the ancient Greeks used, used it to define pride and the arrogance it entails. Bocelli's use of the word hubris was compelling in that he spoke it in the center of power here in the United States. That word conjures a theme that we've seen in Justice Scalia's work. Justice Scalia went about his task of considering significant constitutional and legal issues of the day with a profound and seldom seen humility about the role of courts in our country. They are not there to impose their own beliefs on the people, but to adjudicate competing claims in the context of a constitution that has enduring meaning. To interpret the law in any other way otherwise engrandizes power to a select few, a power that was never intended by the founders. This humility of position that Justice Scalia had, I believe, will be a lasting legacy Regardless of whether one agrees with Justice Scalia from a policy perspective, his writings reflect a profound respect for an understanding of our system of government and an unparalleled respect for an interpretation of the Constitution grounded in text and in history. For this, our nation should be forever grateful. May he rest in peace. I yield back.